Hey everybody, I'm going to show you real quickly how to access your Naviance um, student accounts really easily. The first thing that I need you guys to do is actually go to our counseling website. And I'm going to show you just quickly how to do that. You might want to bookmark that. That's going to be something that over this time period and into the future you'll likely need to access. And so to, the easiest way to get there is to go to our school's website, nths.ttsd.org. When that loads up, you're going to hop to the top. And you need to click on programs. Under programs, you'll find them alphabetized. You'll see school counseling underneath S. That's going to take you to our school counseling website. And for the purpose of kind of what we're talking about today, I'm going to have you guys bookmark that. There's usually a little bookmark or star or something like that on your Google Chrome app. Go ahead and do that. The piece that I want to highlight today um, is about accessing Naviance all right, from home. And so it's the same thing in the past. Um, there are some confusion in terms of how you log in. If you scroll down just a little bit, scroll down just down to here, you'll see go to Naviance student. If you type in Naviance.com, it probably will not take you to the right spot or it adds a couple extra steps. This will actually get you there. And basically from here on forward, probably the easiest and most accessible with less, the least amount of stuff to remember to log in to your Naviance account is actually not using this section up here, but it's actually using Clever. You guys are using Clever in a lot of different areas. If you click Login with Clever, it's going to open up a new page. And you're going to have to basically type in our schools if it's not already defaulting to that. Find North Tower High School. And then it's going to have you log in with your school Google account. And that's it. Then it'll take you to your account. So basically with this, it's, it really streamlines. You don't have to remember a specific password, just your Google login information. Okay, so once you're there, you'll actually log into your Naviance account. And then I'll link a couple other tutorials later on that you guys can use 